What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over how you can make millions and millions of stubs by making roster investments. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button down below and shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. Let's get into today's video. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. So today we're gonna to be going over silvers and golds that have the most potential to make you a lot of profit. If you wanna make a lot of stubs, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel with your notifications on. If you enjoy MLB content, make sure that you are dropping a like on the video to let me know. Today we're gonna to be going over silvers with the potential to make a lot of stubs going up to gold and golds that have the potential to go up to diamond and make you a lot of stubs. Now, first off, we're gonna start over the past seven to 10 games. Who you should be keeping your eye on? It's a lot of low cards on the market right now, so that's a key thing. When I make these type of videos, don't be the person that hold on to a card that you get for 2,000 stubs. You see in four to six days, they go up to 38, 3,900 stubs, and you miss out on selling them. Once you see that you have a 17, 1,800 profit, and you have 20 to 30 of them investments, cash out. This game is all about making stubs, buying all the players that you want, completing collections, and being able to dominate in rank seasons or offline, depending on how you play. So the first card we're gonna talk about with potential to make you a lot of stubs is this Tommy Admin, 81 overall. Now this is a long-term potential, meaning if he can get a plus two with the way that he's been playing over the past seven to 10 games, that will make you buying him at 1,000 stubs. He will go up to 27, 32, 3,400 stubs, and then you can cash out right away. You don't have to wait for him to go all the way to diamond. In the MLB, people have hot streaks and cold streaks. From an 81 to an 85 is about three or four roster updates away. So as far as investing, you can invest in him right now. If he stays hot, he will start going up to 26, 2700 stubs, that would be about a 13, 1400 profit and you can cash out. Tommy Admin right now, over the past seven games, has 12 hits, two home runs, 10 RBIs, and he's batting over a 400. Those are ridiculous stats, but that's only over the past seven to 10 games. So he can go cold, not get any hits over the next two games and that will take most of it away. But if he stays consistent, one hit here, two or three hits there, like he's been doing, be looking for him to go up to about an 83 overall and his stub count to double in profit. The next card we're gonna talk about right now for 444 stubs is this Ryan Mountcastle. 79 overall, you could be making about a 500 stub profit on every single investment. So you buying about 25 to 30 of these will not cost anything at all, but you're gonna be able to quick sell him once he gets the upgrade, which is very, very likely for a thousand stubs each. Every single card, that's gonna be an easy, 25,000 stubs that you would make on this 179 overall or more, depending on how many you have. Over the past seven games, he has 10 hits. So seven games, 10 hits, four home runs, and eight RBIs. He's betting a 357 with a 821 slugging percentage. If over the next six games, three of them games, he stays consistent at the pace that he's on right now, you can guarantee that he has the better chance at getting the upgrade. It's all about investing and cashing out. Kyle Tucker is another one. He's over 2,400, but he's under 3,000. So with the way that he's been hitting, he was real hot about a month and a half ago, 2,908. If you go in, very expensive right now, but 2,908, he can go up to about 4,000 stubs. That would be about a thousand stub profit on every single investment. He should be hovering around 42 to 4,400 stubs in the next five days. So go ahead, don't hold him for the long haul. Even though if he stays hitting like he has, he has a chance to go diamond. 
Kendall Graveman is a very high buy. He didn't get the upgrade last time. He should be on the diamond watch. And then Robbie Ray should be on the diamond watch also. Eversol Garcia is another card that's going to make you a lot of profit. You can get him at $14.50. He has a chance to hover around 32 to 3,400 stubs, meaning that's almost a thousand stub profit on every investment. Will he go diamond? We don't know. He's been inconsistent recently. He was doing real, real good, and then he fell off for about two or three games. But if he picks it back up, if he hits for power, get a couple home runs, his price will shoot up to about 37, 3,800 stubs, and you will be walking away with 1,400 stub profit on every investment. Ozzy got bumped down. Now he's trending his way back up. He has a better chance because of his defense to get the next upgrade, but this is something that I would look for long term. See how he performs over the next three to four games. Adolis Garcia is another one that was on track about two months ago to go up. Now you can get him for a thousand stubs. He went all the way down to an 82 overall, but over the past seven games, he has seven hits with two home runs and six RBIs. He's still over a 300 batting. He's batting a 333 with a 633 slugging percentage. So he has a chance to trend up to about 3,000 stubs. So if you invest into him for 1,000 stubs, anytime that you see him starting to trend up, you can cash out. If you can see him going to 2,100, 23, 2,400 stubs, cash out you don't have to wait for the long haul to see if he goes diving if y'all enjoyed this video this is part one drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button turn your notifications on roll to 10k we just went over 1 million channel views thanks to all the mvps if y'all rocking with me i got y'all let's get it